So I'm going to do a series of window light selfies using uh, window light. Now the windows in my studio have uh, multiple colors coming through. I've got blue sky, yellow house, green trees, and to even them out I'm going to use diffusion panels, well diffusion fabric, over the windows themselves. The diffusion panel blends the original colors reflected off the objects outside the windows to make them a little more homogenous so that they're coming through in a consistent color instead of multiple colors. The first setup is side lighting and I'm using all of the windows. With side lighting you get this rake effect of light across your subject's face so it shows the texture more. The concern with side lighting is the, uh, the texture that's emphasized when you've got light coming in uh, raking across the subject's face. It will show the pores a little more and the texture a little more. So I'm going to use black garbage bags to cut the light which effectively makes the light source smaller and uh, when you've got a smaller light source you have a little bit more control over where everything is going, where the spill is going and where the light's falling. By cutting the light we've uh, reduced the size of it and we've also moved it forward and a little closer to camera so it allows us to shape the wrap around the subject's face a little more. Uh, my ear is not as lit on that highlight side. One last thing I want to try is to just cut the light from the bottom and uh, essentially raise the light so it's a bit higher. Now I've made the light the smallest and what that's done is it's cast a bit more of a shadow on my brow bone but it is making some shadows appear underneath my eyes a little more. This is the example where we just cut the light uh, using nothing but garbage bags and uh, I think overall it works the best. The light's soft and reasonably even and still directional. The shadows are not terribly emphasized and the skin tone seems most moderated. And with the largest light source uh, and the greatest amount of rake, we had the light sort of washing across my face, uh, showing the textures and the pores more so than the other examples. Let's switch direction. We're going to go to front lighting now. Now with front lighting, you've got a much smoother uh, skin tone that's possible because the light's coming in uh, and falling directly on the face instead of across the face. So you're not getting the texture uh, emphasized the way that you do with side lighting. Reflectors. They don't have to be complicated. This is just a piece of styrofoam. This is a piece of white foam core board that was put underneath my chin and it just reduced the shadows underneath my eyes a little bit. Uh, I also use a silver reflector that you'd use to reflect light off your windshield of your car so that it keeps the inside of your car cooler. This is an interesting one. Depending on how you angle it, you can change the specularity, the amount of fill that it provides. I've used it actually as a side light periodically if I need to create separation from a background. They're pretty flexible, pretty versatile, pretty inexpensive. 